Forms are really interesting ways of collecting information in chatbots. You guys know what forms are because you've been using them on your landing pages on your website, of course. But now you could have a form that that captures very useful information about a user that you need. Let's say you're offering them an ebook, so we'll do that as an example over here. But it, it is all done in a very natural sounding way. So let's go ahead and we added a form widget. So first you have your form name. This is only gonna be used for internal purposes. So let's say I'm gonna call this the ebook um, download form. Now anybody who completes this form, <clears throat> excuse me, will be able to get sent our ebook, let's say, and then we would have a follow-up rule to trigger an email to that user to send them the ebook. We're not gonna set that up now, but that's the basic idea of something like this. So the type of the field, the type is the type of question you're asking. So you're asking a text, um, multiple choice, email, phone number, location. So let's call it text, and you could validate it by different things like a number, phone, email, URL. Let's leave for this one, um, the validation out, and we're gonna ask them first for, we already know their first name, so we're gonna be like, hi, first name, can I get your business, or let's say company name? Okay, can I get your company name, please? Attributes are used in many different widgets, and they are the characteristics that are custom characteristics that you'll be able to use dynamically later on inside other widgets, like, like you know, if you save this person's company name, you could respond later on saying, hey, how is work going at, at uh, Microsoft? If this person works at Microsoft, so you could be very, you could use it in personalization. The other key benefit to these types of attributes is it allows you to create audiences later out of them. So if we wanna send a follow-up list to people who work in certain types of companies or in certain types of industries, we would collect that information using forms and different custom attributes, and then we could actually chat blast and run drip campaigns totally personalized based on these custom characteristics of our audiences, and then we use the audience segmentation tool in MobileMonkey to segment those out into those individual buckets to really personalize our message, which is what helps the conversion rates and the engagement rates from these chatbots go sky high. So first, let's say, can I get your company name, please? Save the user's answer to an attribute. Yes, I wanna know the company name, so I'm gonna click new attribute, I'm gonna type in company name and hit enter to save and I'm gonna type in a response. Thanks, oh, so I'm on, what's going on here? I'm gonna type in thank you very much. Um, now conversion is a really cool feature that allows you to log a conversion when a important event happens in Mobile Monkey. So say for example at the the last question of the form, they fill out the last question of the form where we get their phone number, whatever is most valuable to you. Let's say getting somebody's phone number is a really valuable thing to your company that's worth paying for, right? So then you could log a conversion when that event happens and then you'll be able to see how much you're paying per conversion similar to other marketing channels and you'll also be able to see in your bot analytics how many conversions you've received. So for this question, we're not going to um, we're not going to mark getting the company name as a conversion because that's not a, an important event to us in this fictitious example. So let's go ahead and add another question to the form. Give it a second to load here. Getting some errors. Okay, so we go down here, we say thank you very much. Um, a new question is gonna be, let's see, we're gonna ask them for their phone number, okay? Um, would you mind sharing your phone number with me? And you can do something like, you know, I won't call you in the middle of the night, I promise. So like something a little cheeky and fun, you know? That's good. Remember we talked about likability and chatbots. Save the user's answer to an attribute. Yes, I wanna call this phone. And I'm gonna type in thanks and then squiggly bracket first name. Thanks Isaac. Um, that's add a question. And let's say we wanna ask them We wanna ask them about how big their company is, right? So let's say we wanna say, how many people, or you know what, 
what or what's your role, right? That's an important question. So like, you know, oftentimes people have um, specific roles. I mean, people have specific roles at a company and oftentimes companies want to market differently based on what role you are in the company. So if you're a senior level or you're a C-suite level or you're just a, or you're a lower level employee at a company, I'm, I might want to have a real person actually get on the phone and reach out to you versus just putting you in an email workflow, right? That's, a, that's one of your most common ways of segmenting out leads. So let's see, we'll do, instead of type text, we're going to type multi. Um, and the question is like this, what's your role at, now watch this, we're going to find company name and now we're going to use that as a custom attribute. Remember, we saved company name above as a, cust as a, as a, as a custom attribute. Now that the user inputted company name, we could now again use that to personalize future messages. That's one of the powers of these chatbots. Uh, that's, that's one of the powerful functions of mobile monkeys. So again, because it's an important attribute, we're going to ask what their title is at their company. So we're going to say, um, and I have this message pasted here, what's your role at company name? And if you remember, and you know what, let me just backtrack here a little bit. What's your role at open up squiggly brackets? And now if I scroll down this list, I have the custom attribute that I just created in the previous step of the form, <coughs> excuse me, company name, and I can click on that, and we could use that now in future levels of the form. That's the power of Mobile Monkey. That's the power of personalization through chatbot marketing, being, being able to use these dynamic and custom variables that you created, that we've collected from the user, not just the variables that Facebook gives us. So what's your role at company name? I'm gonna save this attribute as a title, and response is gonna be, Thanks very, very much. Um, I know we'll use the first name again. Um, you'll, um, here's, here's a, a link to the ebook you requested. And in the next, we, then I would add another widget that would send, actually send them that link to the ebook. Um, but let's go ahead and test. And let's say I want to say, you know, when, when, once I get title, I want to count that as a conversion, right? That's a complete form. I want to count that as a conversion. And I want to go ahead now and test this page and see how this form actually look, how, see how this form actually looks and functions in Mobile Monkey. So let's go ahead and test the page, open messenger. And here we have, the image, and then it's gonna say, hi, is it, can I get your email? Can I get your company name, please? And let's see here, okay. So now I'm gonna type in, my company name is Adventure Media, enter. Thank you. Facebook now gives my phone number here. All I need to do is tap it and I can send it to Mobile Monkey. So it makes it very easy for you to collect phone numbers. Remember how hard it's always been to collect a phone number through a regular form? But now that you're already in Facebook, it's such a trusted platform, it's re you get the crazy high rates of people sharing phone numbers with you. My phone number here, per my pers this is my personal cell phone number here, so it's blurred out for obvious reasons, but I'm gonna click it. And then it's gonna be sent over there. It says, thanks Isaac, what's your role at Adventure Media? Um, and I'm gonna write, I'm a founder and CEO. Thank you very much, Isaac. Here's a link to the ebook you requested. So you see how neat and cool this is? This is the same thing as, a, as one of those boring landing page forms that we've always used, but over here, all that information was collected with a conversion tracking element to it, with custom variables, the ability to remarket to these people, getting a phone number, all within a natural conversation, completely mobile optimized, done at the user's own time and schedule. Remember, that's one of the, beauty, that's one of the beautiful things about this. Whereas on a landing page, you're, you're sort of like really, um, uh, pressure to fill out the entire form at once. If you close the page, am I going to find the page again? Are they going to save my information? Whatever it may be. Over here on Facebook, um, on Facebook Messenger, you could leave this conversation, come back, fill out, complete the form, continue the conversation, and get those custom attributes um, and give those custom attributes to the company on your own schedule, on your own time, which is really powerful. So the form widget is one of my favorite things to use. Um, it's incredibly powerful, especially for lead gen businesses. So think of different unique ways that you guys could use the form widget yourselves.